Hey guys, before we get into this video, I know it's a juicy one, but hey, we are almost at 50 subscribers. 50 subscriber giveaway, once we hit it, we're at 47 right now. We just need three more subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe right now, three more, and we get to the giveaway. So please, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It means a lot to the channel, and it'll mean a lot to you when you got a chance to win this giveaway. So make sure you subscribe. Now onto the video. Okay, hello everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can turn this average looking shot of myself into in this shot. Now this this shot is a lot more visually pleasing. As you've seen, if you've seen most of my videos, you've seen that most of my kind of videos are set up in this kind of specific lighting way. Um, and I'm basically just going to show what differentiates that, what I do differently to get this kind of setup, to get this kind of lighting situation that looks really nice for your videos. First off, for starters, it's best if you're recording a video, if you take out any natural light. Now, usually you've probably heard people, you know, open a window, do that kind of stuff. If you don't have any other lighting source, then a window will be just fine, but it kind of gets tricky because the sun is always kind of changing its brightness on you. So you can start at one point of the day and at another point of the day, your shot will look completely different lighting wise. So for me personally, I like to, you know, close all the windows, close the blinds. So it's completely dark. And then from there, I turn on my external lighting sources. Now for me at my desk, I have a uh, LED strip light that goes on right here. And that's what's lighting this side of my face. It's um, lit up kind of like a yellowish white. So it creates a nice kind of like orangey yellow uh, shade on the left side of my face here. And then I have this light back here who's that's kind of producing the same kind of light but more softer on this side but it still has a nice contrast from each side of my face now the next thing is what i really think differentiates you know the difference in the thing is the color in the background behind me um i currently have a light going on it's a color changing light um see if i can bring it into frame here it's this light right here and it can change all sorts of colors as you've probably seen in my videos and I just slightly get it off frame there and I have it pointing towards the back of the room because when it's pointing to the back of the room it's oh sorry my phone is not on silent because when it's pointing to the back of the room it creates more of an effect of like taking the background out and making you the main subject of your frame because you want to make you the main subject and you want to make you stick out as much as possible so if you have some color in the background that's not on your foreground so like as you can see there's no blue shades really anywhere on my body because all that light is behind me so when all the color is behind me and then i have a normal color here on me on the foreground it creates that effect of you know, me really sticking out and just makes a better quality video overall. So guys, that's going to be the video for today. I hope you learned a thing or two on how I set up my videos lighting wise and how you can set up your videos, you know, in the future. So I will see you guys as usual tomorrow around the same time, you know, around that 1230 window spot. I'll see you guys. Peace.